Welcome to JD Tech TV where I try before you buy and on this channel I review tech that you need. So if you're new here make sure to hit the subscribe button. In this video we will be discussing the tripod that I use the most to record my YouTube videos and that tripod is the Ravelli 61 inch lightweight aluminum tripod. Let's get into the review. The first thing I really like about this is that Ravelli included its own carrying case with the tripod. Now normally all the other tripods that I have, they come with like a, a carrying pouch. So you can stick it in there and it kind of helps keep it protected whenever you're wanting to put it in a camera bag, a backpack, or even like a suitcase. But Ravelli has its own carrying case, it has its own strap as well. So it makes it incredibly easy to carry around, especially when it's only two pounds. So you can put it in a backpack or you know, you can actually just strap it on, put it around your back and you won't even really notice the weight. The tripod also has a carrying handle that's attached to it. So you can grab it and you can move it around very easily. It's something really small, but it's an extra detail that I really like from Ravelli. Additionally, it has two levels. Most of them will usually just have one at the base up here uh, on the mount itself. This allows you to make sure that your shot is aligned horizontally correctly. But this one has an additional level on the top of the leg, and that will allow you to make sure that your tripod and your shot is going to be aligned perfectly vertically. Now, in order to take this from its very compact 24 inch frame in order to its full 61 inch frame, you just have to open this section here, which there's a little screw that will keep this in place. At this height, it's really nice for a lot of low profile shots that you wanna have. But if you wanna take it to its full height, there are two compartments on each leg, which each will extend out, which each one does lock in place itself. And then once they're all extended, you have an additional lever here on the side, which when cranked will increase the top, which adds an additional 11 inches. Oh, sorry, that's going out of the frame. That adds it, <laughs> hold on. That adds an additional 11 inches uh, in order for this to reach its full 61 inch height. Now something I was extremely impressed with this tripod is that how easy it tilts and pans. As you can see, I'm only doing this with one finger and I could go a little bit faster if I chose or I can do a nice, even, smooth pan across. Now normally in order to get some sort of smooth pan from left to right or up and down, you have to go with the much more expensive tripods, like the ones from like Manfrotto, for example. Those things typically have a mechanized head that whenever you just tap it, it will automatically go across. But with this one, with the, just a steady hand and a little bit of patience, it's very easy to accomplish a nice steady pan for those really nice shots that you want to get. Now on the top, you have a quick release that once turned here, it's very easy to take off the mount and it has a quarter inch screw that attaches to most uh, DSLR cameras, different types of uh, phone attachments like this one here that you can attach straight to this. If you wanted to attach uh, different types of uh, V mounts, any kind of like hot shoe uh, sort of attachments that you can place on the mount itself, uh, it has the quarter inch to where it's basically universal. Uh, let's go ahead and attach this right back in here. It goes in very easily. And this is used, this, this is just a cell phone holding mount. So you can just put this little case in here. But there's something that's very interesting about this is that as you can see, if you're using a cell phone and you don't have a cell phone mount that allows you to turn the cell phone itself from landscape to portrait, the tripod itself has a feature to where you can actually do that on the tripod itself. You just turn this little knob here and now it allows you to turn it straight up and down instead of having to film sideways. And lastly, down at the base, it does come with a hook, so it allows you to add some weights to it. That way you can keep the tripod anchored to the ground a little bit more securely. Now I got this on Amazon for around $25, and for a tripod that is this compact, that goes out to 61 inches, which is pretty big considering how small that it starts out, that is an absolute steal. I mean, the features that this comes with and the quality of the features that this comes with in such a small, compact, and durable package. I mean, I take this thing with me everywhere and I beat it up. And still to this day, it performs in the exact same way that it did on the first day that I opened it. It's extremely impressive. I mean, what am I gonna say? Ravelli, you make an amazing product. So 
if you're looking for a tripod that is not too expensive, you're not looking at the brank the bank, but you still want all of the impressive features that this comes with, Ravelli is where you want to go. Well guys, that's it. Thank you so much for joining me for another review on JD Tech TV. If you liked the video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can stay updated on the reviews that I post every week on the tech that you need. Thanks again. I'll see you next week. The tripod can fold out. The tripod can fold out here. Ow! Seriously? So you can keep it aligned horizontally and on the top. Seriously? And with how much this thing beats me up and... No, no dummy. With how much I beat it up. How much I beat it up. Although in this video, that's kind of accurate, right?